So the last one that I have is in spite of this event, or perhaps because of it, I can specify three reasons why this would be the only company I'd buy for the rest of my life. Excellent. It really, really that, enjoy, we talked about that, a high bar. That's a high bar. Yeah. And I really enjoy how a lot of these, most of them, maybe even all of them, require extremely succinct answers. You need to know what the answer is. It can't be three pages and 10 minutes of talking or however it is that you process your investing research. Right like on. It's like, give me three reasons or like there's like, give me one sentence or, you know, tell me quickly how this thing works. Um, and I think that really requires a lot of understanding. And I really like that. So let's go to the next one. Okay. So to put this um, in context, we use an acronym R U L E S that kind of encompasses the that encompasses the whole checklist. So R is radar. Know where the where, where you're finding this thing and why. Um, U is understand the business. That's the four M's: meaning, moat, management, margin, and safety. L is love the business. This is where you attach values your personal values to what product this business produces, the way it does it, the way it treats employees, the way it's operating in the world. That's all under love the business um, and your values. And then E is event that we just did. And now we're on S, which is story inversion. So we've created a story here with R-U-L-E. We've created this great story. This is business, you know, Warren Buffett's buying it and it's an easy to understand business and an easy to understand industry. Um, it's got a big margin of safety, a huge moat, great management team. I totally understand the business. Um, it matches my values. And there's this major event that has knocked the price down by 50% or more. Um, it will definitely resolve itself in under three years and, and I'm gonna double my money in this thing. Mm -hmm. And I would love to own this business. If this is the only business I could buy, I'd be okay with that. We would be sitting on a great franchise. Yeah, so, see, it's so you're right. And like, that's a point where I feel like a lot of people would just be like, we're done here. Like, this is enough. It's met mm -hmm. every possible insane requirement. Yeah, exactly. And yet there's more. <laughs> there's one more. <laughs> and this one is the hardest one of all. And it's the absolutely most important one of all. Because this is the one where you challenge your own confirmation bias that has now been created yeah. by having built this wonderful story. Totally. The R-U-L-E thing builds a, conf builds a bias. You now really want to buy this thing. Like today, I want to get out there and get it. The last thing I want to do is blow holes in this story. Mm -hmm. I've already done all this work. I think I know what's going on here. But the last thing is just for Charlie Munger quote to understand why we're doing this is he said, if you want to really be a great investor, then quote, invert, always invert. Now that's a little bit thick. So we're going to unpack that a little bit. Um, but he, he's basically coming from a mathematical perspective here that if you want to solve a mathematical equation, you flip it around and it, you can start to, I'm not a mathematician, so I'm almost, so I just sort of understand what that means. You sort of flip it around. Anyway, that's what Charlie says. When it applies to a business, I fully understand it. And by flip it around, what, I'm, what I understand it to mean is these four things. There, here we okay. go. Okay. Number one, I have, a, I have a serious inversion for every key reason to own this business. Oh, wow. Okay. I have a serious so as I've gone through for every key reason, reason to own the business. So I've gone through R-U-L-E. So I have a bunch of great reasons to own the business right there, right? Each one of those is a great reason. Warren Buffett owns it. That's a great reason. I, I fully understand the business. That's a great reason to own it. It's got a great moat. That's a great reason. Management team, great reason. Margin of safety, it's on sale, great reason. Had an event, great reason. It matches my values, great reason. All right, so R-U-L-E creates 
a series of great reasons to own the business. Take the top three at a minimum, the ones that are the greatest reasons to own it. Maybe it's got a gigantic moat. Maybe it's a really easy business for you to understand, totally effortless business to understand with fabulous management team. What, whatever are the major three reasons you've got there. Okay. And then you invert them. Okay. You invert them. So let me give you an example. All right. Yeah. Okay. So one of the great reasons to own, let's say Chipotle Mexican grill, our eternal great example mm -hmm. is that it has a huge moat by having created the niche that it's in, which is organic, natural, gourmet food at a fast food pace and a fast food price. It's a total niche, all right? No other company in the entire world is able to replicate what Chipotle does at any sort of scale. There are a few competitors, but they don't amount to a hill of beans. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So. Okay. So there's your reason. So that's not an inverted moat. reason. Right. Okay. All right. Here's Chipotle's the Chipotle's the greatest. I love it obsessively. Nobody comes close. Okay. Huge moat. Huge moat. Okay. Here's the inversion. The moat's broken. Mm -hmm. So if, if the reason to own it is it's great moat, mm -hmm. then the inversion is no moat. You see what I'm doing? I'm flipping it on its head. Well, I'm I assume there's the more to it than that. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. But you, I want you to get it that this is really pretty simple. You, you take the great thing, wonderful management team with great experience and integrity. What's the inversion? Management team isn't Terrible, trustworthy. Stealing from the company. Yeah. They're harassing bad. employees. Good. There you go. Okay. And we now. just don't know about it. Right. Now you're going to try to dig in and see if this is true. Is it true that the moat is broken on Chipotle? All right. Mm -hmm. So now that's your inversion. Now you got to decide it's true. Now, one of the ways to do that is our second point, our second point on the checklist, which is I know every reason not to buy this company better than the short sellers. I know every reason not, not to, to buy, buy this company. Better, better than, than the than short, short sellers. Sellers. short sellers. So the short sellers are um, people who have determined to, tr they're determined to try to make money by shorting the company. So let's take GameStop, for example, since that's a classic recent example of short sellers getting their shorts handed to them. This, um, this company is struggling to, can, to have a moat. It, it used to be a big moat company doing its business, the only one of its kind, kind of retail games and, and turning over games to people. And, and that is going away with the cloud. Yeah. You just don't need that anymore. Yeah. So their moat is terribly broken. And so short sellers would say, oh, the moat's terribly broken. That's one of the reasons we're going to short the company. And they're going to try to make money when it goes to zero and goes bankrupt. All right. Mm -hmm. So a whole group of investors from Reddit got together and said, no, this company's getting new management. It's going to figure this out. We love this company. This is a, this is a legacy company to us. It'd be like somebody who loves McDonald's burgers so much that they can't stand the idea of the company going out of business. They want to keep being around McDonald's, even if it isn't the same burger. It's just they connected to it by a brand. You guys, if you enjoyed this video and you feel it was valuable in teaching you more about how to invest, hit the like button and please share the video with your friends. And if you want more investing content, subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click the button on the screen. We got a free gift for you. Thanks again for watching.